Hello, my name is uh, Jake Bright. I was diagnosed with dyspraxia at the age of 18. I decided to come to the Dyspraxia Foundation uh, annual conference uh, to meet uh, fellow people uh, who have dyspraxia. Uh, I've been diagnosed for about four or five years now and whilst at university I didn't meet that many people with dyspraxia. That was one of the reasons I came along to the event and I would definitely recommend people to come to meet like-minded people and get to meet great people who are creative, determined, empathetic and it got me to meet Alistair here and um, funny enough we actually talked during our icebreaker challenge and we're getting to know each other very well now. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure to be invited to the event. Hi, my name's Alistair Williams, I'm 20 and this is my first time doing anything with the Dyspraxia Foundation. Um, my mum found the event on Facebook and sent it to me and said, you should go to this. And I sort of said, yeah, all right, I guess. But I've met a lot of other dyspraxics. I've never met another dyspraxic person before this. Um, I met Jake here who hosts his own radio show. Uh, later this year I'm doing a sponsored swim and I hope to uh, raise some money for dyspraxia foundation myself, um, but until then I'm just in admiration of Jake and some of the staff here and what they do for the foundation. My name is Ben Lamy, I'm seven, wait, I'm 18, and I, um, I came here because I thought it would be wonderful to be surrounded by other dyspraxics. Um, I was diagnosed when I was six and I've been part of um, different youth groups for dyspraxia. But it's just wonderful to be surrounded by so many dyspraxics. Like today, more than any other day, there are so many people and it's wonderful. Um, and I think it would be wonderful for um, anyone that thinks they're dyspraxic or um, hasn't been around any other dyspraxics to come and um, be able to re relate to that and be around, surrounded by like, other people, like-minded people like them. Because I think dyspraxia is such like a, it seems like a rare condition. It seems like you're the only one in your school, your borough, your area, and it's wonderful to find other people who are like the exact same. Hi, I'm Miles Green, I'm 17 years old. Uh, yeah, I sort of, this is now my third conference here. I sort of came with my mum, she's been here before, and uh, I was quite interested, I've got the scratch on myself, so why not? So, yeah, I came, and um, I liked it, but I didn't get to meet many dyspraxia people my age, mainly there were parents who had a child. And so this workshop today, um, it's a really great thing to me because I've never actually met many dyspraxia people. I've met loads of dyslexia people like that, but never dyspraxia. So it's quite fun. And if, if you're interested in going, just go. Uh, hi, my name is Ellie Madeira. I'm 17 years old. Um, I've been coming here for the past three years. Um, last year uh, was also a youth group, um, but there were only nine or so people. Um, this time there were so many people and I was so happy to meet people my own age. Um, I would really recommend anyone who wanted to come here. Uh, I would have never met such interesting people if I hadn't come here this year. Um, it's really nice to meet with people uh, your own age. Hi, my name is Marina and I'm 22 years old. I've only recently been diagnosed with dyspraxia in the past like three months. Um, and it's funny because I actually found out what dyspraxia was by watching first dates of all programmes. But yeah, I'm really pleased that I took it into my own hands to diagnose myself and get that all sorted. And when I joined the Facebook group, it was just great to hear other people, what they had to say. And when I found out there was a conference in London, which was just around the corner for me, I just thought like, I had to go. I'm James, I came here because I don't really have many friends. Um, I just wanted to come and see what it was like. It's my first time here. And I made some new friends and it's, it's been good. Okay, so I've come here today to meet people with dyspraxia and to make some new friends. And I think it's been a really positive day for the foundation as general, and I think it's been brilliant. Hi, I'm Claire. I came to the Dyspraxia Foundation conference today because I have been to it um, for many years, and I always enjoy meeting new people. Um, I get a confidence boost from it every single time, and I've learned some really useful information about blogging and internet safety today. Um, so certainly something that I might actually go away and have a think about having a go at it myself. 
and I would absolutely recommend it to anyone because when you come to an event like this, it makes you realise you're not just on your own. Hi, I'm Rosie. I came here today because I did a speech about blogging and I've been coming to the Scratch Foundation conferences for about the last three years um, and my mum also comes along too. Um, I, today I've got out, it's been nice to meet new people, it gives me a confidence boost, it, um, it allows me to meet people who have uh, similar experiences. It's also a very relaxed um, social environment, it's a very calm environment, it's a safe place where people can be themselves and people know there won't be any judgement and I think um, that's really important. Hi, my name's Alice and I came here today um, well because I was asked to run some icebreakers with the young people um, from the youth support at Scratcher Foundation and um, that's gone really, really well. And um, I've been coming along to sort of um, Scratcher Foundation conferences for a few years now and I've met a few people um, and it's nice to kind of sort of see your friends again. Hi, my name is Crystal. Um, I was invited to the conference today to do a little speak about um, blogging and a little bit of online safety. I've been coming to these events for about three years now. Um, I'm fairly certain that last year was the first year that we introduced the youth group at the conference where I think we only had about nine people um, join the youth group last year and it's been so amazing to see such a massive amount of more people come in uh, this year. I think we had about 35 people in total. Um, it would be perfect to double it next year, maybe even make 100. Um, these events are so powerful. They're so good for someone who, like most other people here, have never met someone else with dyspraxia before. It's nice to find that you actually fit in somewhere when it can be so easy to think that you don't fit in somewhere. I think anybody who is looking to come for a conference like this, whether it be you're someone with dyspraxia yourself, whether you're a teacher, health professional or a parent, there's so much you can take from days like today to interact with other people, to learn about other people. It really is an experience that you take away from a day like today.